You're listening to Severus TV and this is Soul to Soul. It's a very strange feeling that when we decided to start these podcasts, हम लोग कितने टाइम से हैव वी बीन डिस्कसिंग दैट वी गोना डू दिस आई थिंक मोर देन अ कपल ऑफ मंथ्स नाउ एंड नाउ दैट वी आर सिटिंग हियर एंड रिकॉर्डिंग दिस पॉडकास्ट वी डेंट थिंक दैट दीज आर द काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक्स दैट वी विल एक्चुअली स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग सो मोस्ट ऑफ द एक्चुअल आइडियाज फॉर द पॉडकास्ट एक्चुअली केम इन आफ्टर वी डिड द फर्स्ट पॉडकास्ट इन एनी केस आई लाइक टू अपॉलोजाइज फॉर द साउंड एंड द टक टक एंड द अदर साउंड इफेक्ट्स मच इज द फीडबैक दैट वी गॉट सो फार दैट वॉज नॉट साउंड इफेक्ट दैट वॉज एक्चुअल कारपेंट्री वर्क दैट वॉज गोइंग ऑन एंड द बैकग्राउंड एंड द डिजिटल माइक ऑन दिस रिकॉर्डिंग सिस्टम सम हाउ पिक दैट अप इट वॉज एन एज लाउड वेन वी वर रिकॉर्डिंग द पॉडकास्ट इट वॉज एक्चुअली प्रिटी लो सम हाउ इट एम्पलीफाइड दैट साउंड सो एनी वे आई एम जॉइंट हियर on soul to soul this is the first podcast on this topic with mrigank saluja you can log into mrigank's podcast on spotify uh, and his website called crazy ios solutions so the point behind selecting this kind of subject matter is that uh, when we were deciding on the podcast on gadgets we thought that we'll give you information that is actually useful or that actually matters and if you go on youtube and if you look at most of the videos on gadgets they're just reading out of the brochure or they they're just showing you left right corner so it doesn't really give you much insider information on the industry on the practical application of gadgets so this is where this idea came from the why not uh, talk about ordinary problems that most of us go through and some of the problems are very personal in nature so we won't go there but the general problems that most people our age face are more or less the same and if they're not the same they're very similar so mrigank did have uh, a few questions for me and uh, for us to discuss this evening and that's why we just decided to record this there and then um so tell me um so when we're discussing life problems or life issues when we're not just going to discuss the kind of things we face which is uh, pretty obvious but we're also going to discuss our own experiences so to speak so when we sat here and decided to talk about this bringang uh, already had a few questions in mind he's asked me these questions before and i have answered them and we've discussed them several times before but uh, we thought some of these questions might help you the listener so mega what kind of discussion did you think we were going to have when we started this podcast so uh, viraj when we were discussing about the podcast and you know we came up with this soul to soul uh, the first thing that came to my mind was uh, you know uh, this year or uh, if you talk about last year also it has been a, a very big turmoil in terms of uh, work and uh, you know getting your life on track career wise so you mean personally or generally Pers- personally generally uh, i've also seen it happen around me and personally also i've been uh, facing some issues so you know uh, i remember 3 uh, years or 4 years back uh, discussing this with you and uh, you were in a similar situation hmm so i remember uh, you uh, wanted to get your life on track and uh, you had just shifted from law to a new field and you had no idea so uh, i've seen those phases and uh, i just wanted to know from you what was that one thing or uh, what was that you know feeling or uh, what was that decision that made you you know go through that change and then what was that um that factor the trigger you mean uh, no not the trigger so what i'm talking about is uh, throughout these four years that i've seen you transform from you know wanting to become a lawyer to a now a successful businessman and now a media person i want to know what what helped you through this journey what what showed you that path i think what you mean to ask is well, what do you do when you're stuck yeah because uh, well i've been there several times and it's one of the most horrible feelings to go through it's one of the most horrible situations and uh, 
being stuck again when you get out of it you look back and realize how small it was but when you're right in the middle of it it looks huge and uh, you can try and your morale goes down and a couple of things happen and uh, it's 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 quite a it's not an easy phase to go through but uh, in terms of what leads you to it is basically just a simple understanding of time and you know you hear a lot you, know, you hear a lot of gyan about time about time management and you won't get it back and those kind of things but you most people don't really understand the depth of what they're saying so when i tell you loosely that you know time nahi hai and this mm-hmm. and that you won't really acknowledge it but yeah you know you realize if you fall sick if you have a disease and you have that kind of an experience it hits you that okay i'm here for a limited time period and i'm a mortal i'm not immortal everything around me is not permanent whatever i have whatever i built so far is all that that i can call my own baki sab to will continue regardless of uh, whether i'm here or not so this is the message i gave most of the suicidal people that i've uh, sort of helped out in a couple of years is that even if you know let's just say god forbid you go ahead and do it you know your friends your your parents your relatives will be sad for a short period of time and then they have to move on and you will st- you'll still stay exactly in the same shit that you've done so nothing changes so that's you know ending your life is one of the most stupidest things that uh, anyone can. i know that you know when you're in trouble and when you don't see anything working for you it's quite a you know the feeling keeps hitting you but then you have to tune out of it and tune out of it in a sense that you have to change the entire method of how you live how you breathe how you observe things and it's it's not that uh, uh, it's not something you can research you just make that decision that no from now at this point i am a different person and that's it there is nothing that is required there is no eligibility there is no this kind of person or that kind of person that does this um the world will keep going the world will have the same problems there there will be family drama there will be friends drama there will be loads of things regardless of whether you are there or whether you are not there regardless of whether you are successful or whether you are a failure so that's how that's that's a realization that dawns on you and then these things stop affecting you you cut off from them and then you just keep doing what you have to do so but when you're already in trouble and uh, there's you can't see any path or probably uh, as you said suicide is the only path you can see because reaching a level where you want to commit suicide is the most extreme level a person can mentally break down to mm. so how do you bounce back from that you probably bounce back way before reaching that level you re- you had a realization so so was it like one day you woke up and you got got an epiphany or was it uh, you realized it with time and that's you exactly took- that's exactly how it happened one day i got up and said i don't want to live like this anymore and that's it and then everything changed after that and i wasn't expecting everything to miraculously change on its own i did the same things differently i changed my thought process i i used to keep a watch that used to beep every hour i had a digital calculator watch that casio mm-hmm. black calculator yeah, watch and that. every hour that watch used to beep and every hour when that watch beeped i used to monitor what i was thinking if it was a negative thought i would change it to a positive thought okay. it took me several years to train myself to get into that positive thinking and high quality thinking state so once you achieve that then you get these big billion dollar business ideas and scalable ideas i i am yet to succeed in achieving those ideas but getting them is a blessing in itself so it's it's it takes years of training yourself to be that way just like you train your body in the gym to see another aspect of this what most people don't realize is that you are hardwired genetically to think the same things that your ancestors are thinking just like there is genetic memory that's why you look like your father or mother and people in your family you think like them also 
so there if there is a suicidal tendency or a very depressive tendency then it is likely that is not you it's just a pattern that's been carrying on from some genealogical line in your uh, whole gene pool so again usko you can explain it like karm also but you can scientifically understand it that you do think it's proven it's scientific fact that you do think like your ancestors so there was a reason that thinking did not work for them and it will not work for you so you can consciously then tune out of it those kind of things but only when you realize that you have to you have to arrive at a realization i cannot copy paste a realization of someone else's thing and uh, i am me uh, you are you and that identity will not change so is there so, any way or uh, probably some methods by which you can arrive at those explanations or realizations or are, does does life show you signs and you miss it so no, life will continue to show you signs most of us don't see it that's why we get beaten up and then we're forced to learn our lessons but we can see the subtle hints what's not working you have to be honest with yourself you have to be extremely honest with who you are what you do what you like what you don't like your strengths your weaknesses and i'm not saying beat yourself up but be honest with yourself because then the relationship that you know, there's, there's a constant conversation you're having with your head when you're in these deep dark circles yeah. that that the quality of that conversation changes okay so uh, i've also known you to be a very spiritual guy mm. and uh, though many people don't believe in spirituality and many people just brush it away as a hoax concept mm. but you have rigorously followed it followed the path of spirituality for 5 years Mm. uh what is your take and uh what advice would you give to someone who is in dumps will spirituality help them has it personally helped you a lot or uh, was it less how oh. has the experience been spirituality is mostly looked at as a label that most people dismiss or they don't understand the thing is some sort of cuckoo uh, kya kehte hain hocus pocus nonsense but uh, the people who do want to understand it they think is something very glamorous you know drink water and do yoga and do meditation but mm-hmm. in actually in 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 the real sense spirituality uh, when, when you go on that path it's messy very messy because you have to first of all acknowledge that everything every experience and everything that you are going through have been through is on you is is the sum total of what you've done with yourself the way you think it's an observer created reality so it's it's hard enough to reach that stage where you sort of uh, acknowledge that this is all me you know there's there's a lot of trauma out there there's a lot of people who have been through uh things that have been done to them by others and then you know to come come to just turn up and say that okay no that was also my own manifestation is a very hard thing to acknowledge you know i can acknowledge that uh, maybe i made a mistake in life and that's why i am there but then if someone else has been co- the cause of some trauma in my life how can i turn up and say that that was also my manifestation that's a very hard realization to achieve so spirituality takes time some people it's easier some people is harder and it's basically being honest with yourself first and then you work with your mind and your body to get out of a certain pattern a certain chain a certain sort of mindset that you have been stuck in maybe your family has been stuck in for generations mm-hmm. and you get out of it and then you move into a total different paradigm of life but uh, on that note i think honesty with yourself mm. keeping apart spirituality is the basic need of the hour i think if you are in dumps or even if you are happy mm. you really need to ask yourself what are you happy about that moment or overall life mm. don't you think so so honesty with yourself uh, i i like the way uh, it was put because it's always been seen that the most honest people are the ones who get kicked around 
Yeah. And I agree. <laughs> unfortunately, it's also the same when you are honest with yourself. Mm-hmm. A lot of people who are genuinely honest with themselves uh, ask me very genuine questions of why things are not moving in their life. And I, I, I recall this one conversation with a friend of mine. I was in an auto with her. And she said that, uh, why me? As in, why is it so hard for me? Uh, I've, I've done, I've been honest with myself. I haven't, you know, damaged anyone. I haven't done anyone any harm. I haven't made mistakes. I've played by the book. And things are not working out for me. And uh, basically, why is this reality continuously coming to me? So, one of the things I... Uh, obviously, I mean, she will get uh, the whatever's coming to her, no doubt. But then I asked her inside the autobahn traffic jam. I said, just look around, look around every car, every taxi, every auto, every passenger, every child in the car around us right now, and tell me how many of these people know exactly what they're doing in their life. Like they're totally tuned in. Ki hume kya karna hai and kahan pahunchna hai. You can't. They don't, I mean, the, the, it just, she understood it, she's smart, she understood it as soon mm-hmm. as I asked the question. But that's, that's the deal. Um, spirituality is a very private thing. You, you are honest with yourself, you get to know yourself, it's a self-discovery, it's lifelong. Uh, in, in some people, it's very easy, the lucky ones, most of people realize what a big mess they've been. And then acknowledge that and then start working through their patterns, their demons or whatever you want to call it. And it's a continuous uh, affair and it's taken me, I've been in, on this path for five years. I don't call myself some a museum piece to be displayed. So it, it's it's a work in progress, it's, it's continuous and you see, the, I'll tell you what happens. Uh, the minute you choose these kind of things, this is what most people don't realize. They're waiting for something. The minute you choose these kind of things, your experiences, the people around you, the kind of responses, everything changes. Okay. The same people start behaving differently around you. And that's because you've changed. You've changed. Those people are exactly the same. You've and become more continue. honest to yourself. You've yeah. discovered yourself. Yeah. So these are the first few observations the minute you start becoming honest with yourself. So I'll give you an example of how um, most people are conditioned into uh, being miserable. Women are a classic example of this. A lot of my friends who are girls face this. And there's this certain degree and especially if they're having issues with in their relationship especially when there's a male figure in their life so if there's a husband if there's a boyfriend even if there's a father or a brother there's this there's this very very inherent submissive behavior that is is well i call it very dangerous but then they unconsciously project it and that's because it's that kind of uh, conditioning has been passed down on them. It's been passed down from their mothers. It's been passed down from their grandmothers and great grandmothers. Because women have been told ki nahi aise karna padta hai. You have to family chalane ke liye. You have to so overlook sir. things. Hmm. You know, aadmi to aadmi to ye sab karenge hi. You know, ye to chalta hai. Haan, aur aise so you you you're, you're made to justify a lot of bullshit. Mm. Um, which men do and which everyone does and and that shouldn't be the case but then that comes from a long line of conditioning so that needs to be consciously acknowledged and removed from your life because that that's a big hurdle that comes in that shows up in work it shows up in relationships it shows up everywhere everywhere so it becomes your second nature Ha, huh, so that, that that's an example of how we're conditioned into certain things uh, from mm. generations from but generations. Uh, Ye sab aati hai and uh, a lot of people are facing very similar problems. We don't talk about them to our friends and whatever. And that's why we think we're the only ones dealing with them. But uh, when you are, when you do find yourself in, some, in a similar kind of a ditch, then uh, just make a decision that 
I don't want to be like this anymore and believe yourself because if when you're honest with yourself the first thing you'll do is trust yourself enough ki ha mai do bhi hai mai isme se nikalna hi hai at some point where nothing is permanent no man so nikal hi jaoge i mean just 3 uh, years ago you're saying i was a certain way i didn't know i'd be here but then i knew i'd be at a you know a place where i am comfortable with mm-hmm. and that's where i am in another 5 years maybe we've done another 100 of these podcasts mm-hmm. and i'll be recalling you when you know how hard it was to start the first, first one podcast, yeah. this card <laughs> carpentry going on there's 50000 things and yes. and this is all the first i mean the soul talk which is something we d- decided to just uh, in, in in an hour and then said let's record this there's gadgets there's 50 mm-hmm. other things we might do and one thing leads to another so i'm very happy that uh, we're acknowledging these things and bringing them out there so to sum up tonight uh, i think viraj has given us enough points to think about so i think the major point that we need to take away from today is be honest to yourself and you know try to discover your own self before discovering any other thing and sometimes actions of people around you may change because you have changed in the next podcast we will discuss working with a friend and how it changes the dynamics also the difference between making your friend your business partner and making your business partner your friend that's quite an interesting topic a lot of people will want to know how working with friends and family especially when there's money involved comes yeah. out because money changes a lot of things mm. so do join us for our next podcast soul talk soul talk see you guys if you have any suggestions queries please write to us at uh, vidraj at severus.in that's v i j a y r a j at severus.in and mrigang at gmail.com m r i g a n k h at gmail.com good night take care subscribe to our podcast on soundcloud itunes spotify and youtube